hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial on android app development for beginners and in this video we will see how to use web view with your android activity so let's take an example and let's uh, see how we can use web view in our android activity so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a button and i will change its uh, text to open url okay and also i'm going to change its property which is layout colon width to fill parent so that it covers uh, all the width now i'm going to uh, take a text edit from here so go to the text field and take a text edit from here uh, I'm going to take this plain text but uh, you are free to choose other text uh, view also or edit text also now this uh, edit text also I'm going to change the property for the layout underscore width or layout colon width to fill parent okay so it uh, fills the width now the most important thing we are going to use here is the web view so just search for a web view in the palette and drag it drop into your activity and then you can resize your web view and you can change the property of this uh, web view to fill parent so the layout width of this i'm going to uh, change it to fill parent and the layout height also fill parent okay so it can cover all the remaining area of the activity now what i'm going to do is uh, in this edit text uh, let's enter some default text so that we don't have to type a long url for it for the first time so let's uh, open for example google dot com uh, with this so i'm going to add the url https colon double slash and then www dot google dot com okay now uh, we are ready to uh, write the code for uh, our activity so we will go to the java and in the main activity dot java file we will first of all uh, declare uh, these variable which we have used so let's declare these variables okay so i have uh, declared my all three variables one for button one for edit text and the last for web view now we are going to make a function for the button click event so let's make a function void uh, or better public void public void open url and then inside this function first of all we will cast our three variables which we have uh, declared one is for button and edit text and browser so now we have declared all three uh, variables or we have uh, casted our all three variables and now we will add the button click event to our button variable so let's add a button click event button submit dot set on click listener and here we will set a new on click listener and inside this on click um, method we are going to write our code but first of all let's do uh, the important uh, one important thing so 
to open any uh, URL or any web page you need to provide the permission to open or to permission to use internet right so go to your manifest folder in your app folder and in here you will be able to see a folder called android manifest.xml and in here you can set your permission so go just above your application element or tag and in here we will uh, provide our permissions okay so in here what you need to do is you need to type this line of code which is in the angular brackets you need to add this tag called user minus permission and then give the name android colon name is equal to in the quotes android dot permission dot internet okay so you need to add this extra line to your android manifest dot xml file now everything is okay now we are ready to write some code for our on click listener so let's take this uh, browser and uh, what we are going to do is first of all uh, let's uh, declare a string to get the url okay so string url is equal to and then we will take the text from the edit text so url text dot get text and then we will convert it to string and then this url we can pass to our web, web view right now uh, let's take this uh, browser variable and let's uh, set some properties to this uh, browser so the first property we are going to add here is first of all get settings and then set let's uh, set uh, the images loading of images so load image automatically is equal to true and uh, the second property we are going to set is for the javascript so browser dot get settings and then dot set javascript enabled is equal to true and the third property we are going to set is for the scroll bar so browser dot set scroll bar style and then in here we will use this view dot so we are going to set scroll bar scroll bar inside overlay so scroll bar inside overlay okay and now we can uh, load some url to our browser okay so what we are going to do is we can just call a load url function on our browser load url and it takes our string as an argument and we have already extracted our string or url from our edit text in this url right so we can pass it here so now everything is done hopefully so just call this uh, open url function in your on create method and let's run our program so our program is running now and you can enter any url in this added text our default url is https colon slash www.google.com so let's click this open url button from here and let's see if it opens our url yes it opens right so it opens our web page when we click the button and we can go back once again and we can just click it once again and it will open your uh, url in the web view so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now